For the first time, an active player in major U.S. sports has announced he's gay. Veteran NBA player Jason Collins comes out in the new issue of Sports Illustrated. In the article, he says the recent Boston Marathon bombing reinforced the idea that he shouldn't wait for circumstances of his coming out to be perfect. He's quoted as saying things can change in an instant, so why not live truthfully? Could an athlete's personal life, particularly his or her sexual orientation, affect an important source of income for athletes, endorsements and sponsorships? Lee Eagle of NYU Sports and Society Program joins me here in studio. Professor, welcome to the bottom line. Thanks Thank for coming on. Thanks for having me. Is this the seismic event that everyone thought it would be? It could be. It really could be. Uh, so a good friend of mine asked me, you know, is this the Jackie Robinson moment? And I think that's a great question because what we're looking at really may be something that's much more of a series of small events that lead up to a real big change or a big transformation at the end of the day, so to speak. So, small events such as? Well, haven't we been desensitized in a way to, uh, to what happened today? And that's not to diminish uh, really on a personal level, sure. certainly what Jason Absolutely. Collins did um, and, and what, he's, uh, what he's announced. But uh, you know, just think a few months ago, we were asking some of the same questions about Manti Teo yes. before he went to the NFL draft. And I think in a way that sort of, uh, it, de it again, desensitized what it is that people are willing to take in, how they're willing to think about stories like this. So uh, what's happening in a way outside in the public sphere is probably a little bit different than what's going on inside locker rooms. People are processing this differently? I think so. And a big part of why people are processing it differently also has to do with how media has changed. Sure. If we look at how ja at the time Jackie Robinson did what he did and changed the world, anyway, media is very different. I mean, we, we could really sit for days, weeks, months, and process what did this all mean. But, but the, it seems the difference is, though, when Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, there were no players who looked like him in major professional sports. There are, according to sources and according to ex-players, there are gay athletes playing in professional sports. They are just playing in the shadows. They have not made an op open declaration of their sexuality. That's certainly the case. Uh, there are in locker rooms athletes uh, whose teammates know that they're gay, uh, whose families know that they're gay, and it's not out in the public sphere. And that's another discussion about uh, what sports does and, sure. and how we might lift that story. But uh, if really just to think about how it is that uh, nobody looked like Jackie Robinson when he did what he did, yeah. look today at who the highest earning athletes are. Yeah. And they're a majority people of color, yeah. people of different ethnicity. So our perspectives have really changed dramatically. We haven't solved the problem, but our perspectives have changed. What does Jason Collins' revelation mean in terms of his ability to connect with a company or a company's ability to connect with him? Well, what Jason Collins is going to be able to do for a company, really, uh, the, the basic questions don't change. It's really how can he connect with a company and, in particular, its customers and what those customers' values are. So uh, there's, and by the way, there's much more to Jason Collins than being a gay man. Yes. Right? He's a Stanford graduate. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a smart man. He's accomplished a great deal uh, before he came to today. Sure. Your doctorate's in industrial and organizational psychology. How does his coming out play in the locker room and with team management? The way that his coming out plays in a locker room is very different today than it ever, almost ever was before, than it certainly was five years ago and ten years ago. Um, and certainly the time that Jackie Robinson played. Sure. Although, by the way, Vince Lombardi made it a very big point to tell his teams uh, we're not going to have any conversations in here about who is and isn't gay. And you can imagine the time that that happened. But, sure. but for Jason Collins and what's going on in the locker room, now, in part because of the way media works, anything that gets said in the locker room may get out. And that's a very different story. You can't say the things that you might have before. Professor Eagle, we have a minute left. Jason Collins is a free agent. He's not a household name. What's his earnings potential now? A great question because the assumption, the basic assumption, is that Jason Collins will have his pick of a number of different marketing and endorsement opportunities and sponsorship opportunities. Yeah. And, we, and the world may have changed on that assumption. What's the bottom line then for teams that embrace diversity, whether it's 
ethnic diversity, sexual orientation, what's the economics for them? I think it's another question that we don't know the answer to yet because it, if we're looking at the old ways of thinking and doing things, the economics are enormous. But if we look at how the world has changed and start to factor in what reality is today, yep. it may not be as big as we think. Lee Eagle, he's a professor at NYU in the Sports and Society program. Joining me on set, Professor Eagle, thank you so much for your time. It's thank a pleasure you. to have you on.